Hi and welcome to the channel. Now today's video is about me testing these three meters out. I've got two new ones recently. There's this one here and this one here. I'm not going to try and pronounce the names of these two here. I'm going to leave a link to where you can get this off of eBay. Uh, probably a link or something where you can get this from as well. This is uh, from eBay as well. And this here I got from AliExpress. Uh, and this has come kind of recommended. Not, not by anyone, not personally, but uh, watching a few channels. If you want to measure capacitors, even though this is very cheap, really, uh, this is supposed to be pretty good, fairly accurate, shall we say, compared to maybe these two. But we're going to test that out as we go along. I'm also going to leave a link to uh, someone who does more of an in-depth review of this particular one here, uh, the model number there, apart from the screen. Uh, it does a more in-depth uh, link to it, showing you how to calibrate it and going through some more diodes, all that kind of stuff, going more through it and comparing it to ease kind of like bench measurement uh, meters that he's got and, and telling you how close it is. So I really just wanted to draw your attention to this one here if you're thinking about getting a cheap meter to uh, measure resistance, diodes and capacitors and, and mainly for me capacitors. Uh, and it is cheap because it's only about 17 or 18 pound. Just to give you an idea of this one, just in case you're thinking about getting this one, this does capacitors as well. How accurate it is um, probably not that accurate compared to this one, but we're gonna see how far out it is compared to this. Uh, when we do a few little bits of testing. And this is one I originally used a little while ago uh, for doing that capacitors test, that video I put out saying how far our capacitors out. So what I do, I think, is we'll start off with some capacitors. I've got some new and I've got some old. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna stick some graphics up on the screen as well so you won't have to remember anything. And we're just gonna do a little bit of testing to see how far out these are. So we're gonna start with some old capacitors. These are the ones we've got out of that Sansu. Anyone don't know, I've been recapping a Sansu receiver. And these are some I've got out of there. And these are 50 years old. So I'm gonna go through all different three meters and see how near they are to each other. It's gonna be a bit of a long video, I suppose, but if you're interested in this kind of thing, you may wanna stick around. If you're not, then obviously won't bother. But um, this is a thousand microfarad uh, capacitor and we're gonna stick it on this meter here first. Uh, actually, I'm going to take this off. This meter here has got this little thing that sticks on there. It's a bit more inconvenient when using these little short pins. So I'm going to stick it on there. It's going to be easier for me to get it in there. And we're going to test that. But don't worry, I'm going to make a note of all these readings as well. This is a 1,000 capacitor, 1,000 microfarad capacitor. Uh, and we're going to see what it reads on this particular meter here, first of all. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. And that reads 1,481 microfarad. ESR 0 and a VDS of 1.9 uh, so that's just a bit out of tolerance shall we say because that's a thousand and the most you want to read is probably read is, is uh, 1200 on this particular meter so we're going to flick over to this meter here now maybe have to grab it with these little grabbing things if not is that going to grab it so we're going to test that hopefully I've got it in the right holes uh, because you have to put it in the right ones otherwise it comes up Damaged, which it has there damaged, so we're doing it all live. So we'll move across a couple. I'm guessing a bit here, I can't really see what I'm doing uh, because the light's quite powerful. This table makes everything really dark, testing in progress. So uh, it's a bit slow, but uh, there we go. Capacitor that has got a V loss of 2.9, ESR of 0 0.11 ohms, and it is reading 1500 microfarad reading 1500 i think that said one four or something didn't it so that's that that's that little meter there and uh we got i won't do too many of them because we'd be all day won't we but we have got this one we'll turn this one on and with this we're just this you're gonna hold it over the capacitor like that hopefully you can see this and just want to see what you can see i might have to bring my hand around here a bit so here we go 1.36 megafarad one 1360 microfarad resistance of 70.9 milli ohms and this i'm not too sure they call it dissipation i can't say it of 0.6 hopefully you can get them readings on that meter i'm going to tilt it a few ways so you can show that that's at 1k we've got the frequency there at 1k it's that little blue marker there in the middle so people say that you should maybe do these in the hundred so we're going to change that frequency um, there it is 10k hopefully you can pick that up 10k and we're going to go to 100 there it is in blue so we're going to test that with 100 as the frequency and it comes in at 1000 it's actually gone to resistance and it what's happened there capacitors sorry about that i thought i had it on auto 1.41 microfarad 
So that's this particular uh, mega, so 1,510 microfarads. Sorry, I'm getting a bit mixed up. There you go. I'm, I'm used to seeing actually uh, all the digits rather than an abbreviation. So 1,410. So uh, it's kind of narrowed it down a little bit more from that and uh, 100 microfarad less than that. But we're going to stick them up all on the screen so you can see that as well anyway. So we're going to do a few more as we go along. This is supposed to be the most accurate of the three, by the way, like I say, going by a couple of other people's reviews that's uh, got bench stuff to test it on, better meters to test it on. So we go with this one here. Just quickly stick that in there, hopefully. Like I say, maybe a bit long winded, won't be too, too many. I'm going to do a couple of new, well, one new capacitor, shall we do, just to see what it comes up with that. But really drawing your attention to that new little one at the end there that just does capacitors and resistance. And this is measuring 612 microfarad, a VLOS of 1.8 ESR0. So that's that particular capacitor there. And this is, in fact, a 470 microfarad capacitor. So we'll stick it on this meter here. I'm not too sure which pins are what. Quickly put it on there, hopefully it's come up. It's come up as unknown, so we're gonna to have to move it across a couple of pins. Testing in progress. And that's coming up as a 646 microfarad capacitor there. Um, but what about the VLOS 2.6.140 ohms ESR? Uh, the reason I'm moving it across for anyone that don't know is that the only you have to, you've got pins here one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, etc. You have to put them in like one or two, one and three, two and three. You can't have one and one because then it measures it as an undo device. So just quickly, we're going to use this little meter here and uh, we'll give this one a go. We've got it on capacitors since. Just trying to hold that on there. Hopefully you can see what's happening. And it's measuring 582, 583 maybe, 582.9 microfarad on this particular meter here. So this is supposed to be the more accurate. But to just give you an idea, I'm going to put a graph up of how far these are out against each other. Uh, so that's just a couple of their old ones. I think what we'll do, we'll try a new one, shall we? This is a new Rubicon 3300 microfarad capacitor. Um, three and one should be all right. Let's just stick them three and one. Plonk that in there, let's just test that. This should be 3,300 microfarad. A new Rubicon, see what this actually measures it as as. This is measuring it as 3,185. VLOS of 2.2 SR0. So 3,185 microfarad. And that meter, we'll take that out of there. Hopefully, we're going to stick it in the right two parts here. I can't see, I'll soon find out, I suppose. Unknown, typical. Let's move it along one. Now, I could have done this that uh, there's all pre done and just taken pictures, but I thought it's best to show you live really so you've got an idea what these are. And hopefully, you can see that. So, we've got 3185 on that other unit see what we've got on here we have got 3.2 so 3200 microfarad on this particular unit and if we get the ones more accurate we've got it a hundred a hundred uh, uh, 100 hertz as the measuring and this is measuring 3.06 microfarad just from out of interest we're up that frequency uh, press the wrong one let's get it on a while to 1k, 3.1, 3 3.2, 3,200 microfarad that's reading on this particular little device here. And this, like I say, this is supposed to be the most accurate. This is one I'm really doing the video about, uh, just to draw your attention to a pretty cheap, that's supposed to be you know, reasonably accurate now, uh, capacitor tester. Like I say, it does do diodes and resistance as well. For instance, if I get a resistor here, I'm not too sure what this is. It's either a 1k, I think. Is it a 1K or maybe it ain't? I can't remember what this is. I mustn't get my hands involved as well, really, if I can help it, because it's going to measure that. There you go. My hands are involved, so that hand away. 999, uh, sorry, 99.95 kilo ohm. It's a, it's a 100K resistor there. So it's just fractionally out, obviously, with the tolerance, etc. cetera. Oh, just for a matter of interest, we're uh, not that I really use these for measuring resistors, but for a matter of interest, we could actually measure resistors on here as well, couldn't we? Just while we're doing it. Not that I use these resistors. 
I usually use uh, a little meter for resistors. A little mold. We just stick up these two just for a matter of interest. 100.5k on this particular unit. So just very, very slightly up, uh, more. If we get over to this unit here. Oh, that comes, that's not, oh yes, the um, pins in it, I keep forgetting. So it's that, test in progress. And that's measuring 96.5, so that's quite a bit out really, even though these have all been calibrated. 96.5, that's reading. I'll do it once more. Yeah, so this on resistors, a little bit out in it, but uh, gives you a good idea, I suppose. So that's that particular unit there. Uh, so what should we do now? Like if I do a um, transistor, for instance, can't do any transistors on here as such. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna plonk it in this way. I'll just to give you an idea. This is what I mainly use these for, is for transistors, just to tell me the pinouts. Uh, and also obviously the transistor's working, but gives you an idea of the pinouts. So if you're taking a transistor out of a circuit, there it goes, it tells you one, two, three, and it tells you what they are. So the uh, base is number two, the three is the emitter, and one is the collector, and there's the reading there, also uh, of that particular transistor. So you know which way around it is. You can, the number's one, two, and three on the unit here, so you know number one when you take it out of this unit, you know where number one is, and that's the uh, collector. Uh, number two, the middle pin there, is the uh, base and number three the emitter so if I say if you're doing substitute transistors it gives you a good idea just take the old transistor out remember which way you took it out plonk it in here and it'll tell you the reading and make sure you put the new transistor in corresponding to base emitter and collector so that's that particular transistor there with we'll try it in this unit here as well just for a matter of interest oh, doesn't like it you've got to get these the right way around these three pins Let's try that, there we go. Just to show you the graphics, what it shows on this particular unit. And there you go, pin one collector, pin two base, pin three emitter, and the readings there as well that comes up. Hopefully you can grab that. So um, yeah, it, at least it tells you the pins out. It's just a little bit out on the resistance, I suppose, this particular unit. Um, there you go, so that's that. Um, like I say, it's really, I'm really showing you back capacitors here on this video and, and, and highlighting this particular unit here as well. Uh, it does do diodes as well. This particular unit will do diodes. So um, if we do the auto range, you have to have it on 0.6 volts because you can change the voltage of this. And um, it's gone to resistors here for some reason because my fingers are probably not helping. No, it's gone to, let's turn it the other way. I may have to actually put it on diode. So it's supposed to be auto ranging, but my fingers are probably not helping. Which one is it? Diode. There you go. And it tells you which direction the diode is actually going there, if you can see there, which end, which way round the diode is. If I swap it round, you'll see that graphic spin round the other way. There you go. So that is diodes. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just do a crossover capacitor. Uh, this is one that I took out of a pair of speakers. So um, see how all three of these compare uh, with this particular unit here, this tweezer one. It's gonna be fairly straightforward, even though this is pretty short leads. Let's just uh, try and get round here and get these leads in here. So I can kind of like touch the two leads and still get the read in there. Um, I'll put it on, I want to get back on auto, then I auto. So hopefully, not the easiest job in the world here. I've done myself, so I've got one with a longer leads on, shouldn't I? Am I going to be able to do that? Yeah, just, I think. That capacitor reads 9.6, uh, 10K. So let's just bring that down to 100. Oh, gone too far, 100. Like I say, someone else does a much better review than me than this, this particular unit. 10.47 microfarad that. that. Hopefully you can see that. And the actual micro capacitor is an eight uh, microfarad capacitor. So we've got 10 points. I'm gonna use these two little leads here that come with both these units, just to make it easier for me to grab hold of this capacitor with some little spring clips. We'll test it on this unit here. Get one under it there. 
Well, it's come out typical on one end there. Let's just get that back in there quickly. It doesn't help, I haven't got my glasses with me to the neither. I've kind of rushed this a bit. Where are we? Let's just test that. This should be an eight microfarad. This is a bipolar capacitor. And hopefully you're gonna see the reading, so me holding it up when it decides to come up. And that's coming up as 11.68 microfarad on this particular unit. If we go across, actually I should have left them connected, should I? If we go across, I'm just gonna whip these out and plonk them in this other unit, which may not be as easy as it seems when you ain't got your glasses. Clamp them down. Test that. Hopefully, I'm going to be. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. And a bit two pins that uh, are no good. Let's go next door. Test that. Test in progress. And that's coming up as 11.5 as well on this particular unit. So um, yeah, not too far out there. Uh, but yeah, like I say, this is the this is the main one. Just to draw your attention, if you're just doing capacitors, resistors, like I say, a normal multimeter, mainly resistors, and maybe diodes, and again, normal multimeter would do that. Um, this is a unit apparently that uh, people are saying that's you know pretty accurate for testing capacitors. So that, that's what I'm drawing attention to really. This is a new unit out by that company, which I can't say F N I R S T. I think it is. Uh, that company put it up on the screen so you can see what it is so you, you may be interested in that one um i've not really had a, much of a go of it to actually say how good it is compared to this one but i'm um, not say for capacitors this one for transistors resistors and something like that probably this one even though the resistance was a little bit out there compared to this and this um yeah maybe just this one for transistors resistors um other bits and pieces not to, not a million miles out with the capacitors really it gives you some kind of idea uh, and that's it really, there's them three um, kind of, not reviewed, but just like I say, really more drawing your attention to this particular unit here. You may be interested in that, it looks quite smart and quite compact in that, but I think this one probably just a little bit better maybe. Um, seems to be like a little bit more accurate with the resistors anyway. Uh, and this particular unit here, which is, you know, goes for next to nothing really, 17 pound off AliExpress, does a really good job. Uh, I will leave a link to that where a bloke actually goes in more in depth and tells you more about how to set it up and uh, what else it can do so um, if you're interested in one of these i've kind of drawn it to your attention maybe you want to go over and see him to learn a bit more about it comes in this box here uh that's it there um, i shall put let's say links down below where you can get it from comes in its own little case it's got its own little charger these these all got built-in batteries this one here and this one here built-in batteries this one here is a separate nine volt battery and you've got your little charger and that that comes with it uh, but this particular meter here comes in a little box and one other thing it does do which is quite nice this one this particular unit if i just undo this camera's a bit further away than should be you come and undo this and if you've got any surface mount there's a little surface mount board which is this comes off and this clips in so if you've got any surface mount capacitors resistors transistor diodes anything like that you can plonk it on here this goes in there and you can put your service mount item on there and test it uh, but then again like i say it's all to do with the accuracy and uh, for capacitors now I haven't got a bench one, I haven't got an expensive one, but this is, like I say, supposed to be pretty good. I'll be using this just to test out some capacitors from now on. That's it, really. Uh, a bit of a mixed video there, really. Just like I say, it's really not much of a review, more of just bringing to attention that this little beauty or this little thing for next to nothing has cropped up. And uh, for people on a very, very tight budget that wants to get as, as, as reasonable accuracy as possible, then this is probably one to go for. Okay, until the next video, I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.